Do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little Irish dancer with me? If so, you are going to need something to draw your doodle with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done. And don't forget the markers, the colored pencils, and the crayons so we can add color to our amazing doodle. Grab all of those supplies, guys, and let's get started! to do our adorable little St. Patrick's Day girl. And we are gonna do quite a few little doodles for St. Patrick's Day in the next couple of days. So please make sure that you're checking in for any of those fun little doodles. But first we are going to start by drawing the hat for our little girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make a line trying to think of how I'm going to do this. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and make a line that's going to curve up and around. So start low. So this is almost kind of even with my line here. And then it's going to come up kind of like a wave and it's going to curve back in like a hook. And this is just so we can kind of give her hat a little bit of fanciness, right? So we're going to double that line now. So we're going to come down here. We're gonna go ahead and create a double line. So now this is the brim of her hat. And then down here we can actually make a little curve and connect the two. So now we have the end of her hat. Super easy, right? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go ahead and make her top part of her hat. So we're gonna go ahead up on each side with some curved lines. And notice how they're going out. I'm doing that because I want it to look kind of like a big top hat, which are very common around this lovely time of year. We actually have one, my son has one. And my husband tends to wear it more than my son, but it was fun to buy. We bought it for like 10 cents last year, I think at the end of St. Patrick's Day. Sorry, I'm so stuffy. I have allergies right now, pretty bad. They're driving me kind of crazy today. I also haven't taken any medicine, so that could be why. <laughs> okay, big U for the ear or for the face, and then two little C and backwards C for the ears. And I did leave it open because I want to be able to give her some nice curly red, you know, Irish hair. So we're gonna do a little curve there. And then this curve, we're gonna go on the outside and I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna stop. I don't wanna go over too far because I do have her outfit to do. Then I'm just gonna add a couple little curls here to make like her hair going behind her ears. I'll do the same on the other side, just a couple curls. And don't forget, I forgot to mention, but if you're using Sharpie, make sure you have your paper underneath to protect your table. Very important. Okay, and then I'm going to stop. So that way I have a good open area here for her dress. So we're going to do U-shape by her neck. And then we will come down. And we're going to kind of go inward almost at an angle. Not a big one, but enough. We're going to give her a cute little dress. Curved line here, angle in, curved line. And then we're going to curve out and out. And that'll be her nice big poofy dress and a nice curved line there. Then we'll do her sleeves. Just give her some nice big poofy sleeves. Very Alice in Wonderlandy. And then I'm just going to put her arms back behind her dress. I'm going to grab the ultra fine tip and I'm going to do an X. And this X is just going to end up being like a... Um, a little like uh, laced area on her dress. So it's really just kind of decoration. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give her kind of a pointed leg here. And that's just because I kind of want her to just be standing. Maybe she's an Irish dancer. I used to love watching Irish dancing. If you don't know what that is, you should look it up. Okay, and then we'll bring her hair in to touch her arms. Now all she needs is her adorable little face. So I'm going to go back to my um, ultra fine tip. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give her two eyes. So two nice ovals for her eyes. I'm going to give her the little shine marks in those eyes. And then I'm going to color the rest in black. So she has two cute little shine marks. I am going to give her a tiny little upside down U for her nose. And then I'm going to give her a little curve for her mouth. Now you can. She's definitely very girly. If you want to give her two eyelashes, you're more than welcome to. If you want to do a couple little dots for freckles, you can also do that. My son is a redhead, so freckles are definitely a redhead trait. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our supplies and give her some color. So I want some more muted greens. Like I don't want my bright green. I want, this is like an iguana green. Like that's the kind of green I want. I don't want... I don't want the dark, dark green right now. And I am using markers. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in and I'm going to color this little area with some yellow. That's that little lace on her outfit. Then I think, well, let's go up. We're going to color the buckle yellow because usually the buckles are nice and gold. So let's get that buckle nice and yellow. And... Let's do, I don't, if you're one of my student students, like you're actually in my class, then you know I don't like doing black. If it's something that's going to be black, we're going to color it gray. And then we're going to go in and we're going to add a dark black crayon over it to give it a little dimension. So that way, instead of having just this big black blob up here, we will have a nice little area of value. And I'm going to do the same thing with her shoes because her shoes are going to be black. And then once that dries, we will go over it with crayon. Okay, her hair. I definitely want to use, this is tiger orange. So tiger orange, oh, that looks like a dead marker. Let's see, will it work? It'll work. Tiger orange is more of a brownish orange. So it's not going to be that really bright rainbow orange. And it's actually the perfect color for a redhead because redheads don't really have like red, red hair like fire engine red hair. Although my son came real close when he was born. And every now and then, if the light hits my son's hair just right, I see these like, just they look like solid red streaks in his hair. It's pretty cool. But their hair is actually a little more on the orangey side. So this is perfect. And then we can go in with a, um, a nice like red crayon to kind of add a little bit of color to it. So now I'm going to go in with my peach marker. We're going to color her arms. Her arms are right here on the side. She does have on a dress. These could be tights, but we'll color her legs in with a little bit of peach. We'll get her ears and then we will come up here on her forehead and color in her skin. Most redheads or Irish I am Irish. I am very much Polish compared to my Irish, but I do have quite a smorgasbord of ethnicities. I got a DNA report. It was so cool. The African, I've got African descent. Oh, it was just so much fun. But redheads typically have some pretty fair skin. So a nice light peach. They're not going to be more on the tan side. They're going to be much fairer skinned. Okay, and then I'm going to use my iguana green to color in my hat. I don't want it to be a really bright Kelly green. That's just me. Um, I'm not a really big fan of that color. I love this color much more. And then I love to go in with my crayon to add in just some additional color to help kind of make this color pop. If that makes sense. So you always gotta, you just play with your colors. So we'll have all this nice and green. And this is that iguana green. I think you get it in the bold pack of markers. I have the class pack, so I get them in there. 
And then we're going to color in her dress with the same Kelly green. I'm trying to figure out what to do for her shirt. I don't know what to do. I kind of think it needs to just stay white, but then I feel like it looks like it's not done. So we'll see. Maybe once we add a little shadow to it. And remember, when you color with that marker, use that angle. There's a reason that that angle tip is there. It makes your coloring smoother, neater. You use the angle of that marker. Do not use the tip. Okay. So my little girl is done. So we did the gray first. So let's go ahead and grab our black crayon. And we're going to go in. And this is where we're going to go ahead and make that look black instead of gray, since it is black by using our black crayon and coloring light in the middle, but dark towards the outside of our buckle. So that way we're adding some nice value onto that little um, band around the hat. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We'll get a little lighter as we go out. Add a little shadow in there. Look how cool that looks. And she goes from looking like a flat little, maybe almost computer drawn, character to having a little more life to her. So that black now looks amazing. We're going to color in her little shoes with a little black. Not much, just enough. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to keep her shirt white. So I'm going to get this really light gray and I'm just going to color a very little bit on her shirt just to give it that shadow. Not enough to really change the color of it. Okay, let's do her hair. Love this hair. Okay, we're going to do our areas of shadow instead of going darker we're gonna actually go with the red so we use that tiger orange for her hair which as it's drying it was a bad marker but as it's drying it's looking more and more brown so we're gonna use this to bring in more red into that hair give her a little more of that redhead look little Irish girl Look at how cute she is. Okay, I love her. Do you think she needs a little pink on her cheeks? So let's do a little bit of pink. And you could always add freckles and things like that on their faces. But we're going to give her a little pink on the cheeks. I'm actually going to kind of try to get a little pink in this color altogether. It's just a very dull color. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this really light, almost honey and just give her that little bit of shadow on her arms that she needs a little shadow from under her dress. Maybe a little shadow up on her forehead. I don't wanna to do too much because again, I don't wanna darken her skin. She should have very fair skin. All right, now we can take that darker green that I did wanna color with originally, so like the more Kelly green, and we can use that to add to her adorable little dress. So now, I'm gonna go towards the outsides, color a little darker, and then I'm gonna come in lighter and lighter and lighter because the light's most likely hitting her from the front. Do the same over here. Come in lighter, 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 lighter. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Oh, she's so cute. Down here by her waist, a little bit up here by the shoulder, and we can come down in, shoulder, down and in hat the brim of the hat here probably just more towards the outside and in a little bit it's definitely going to show up more on the top part of the top hat so so far she's so cute all right so here we're going to go up and over here we're going to go up above the buckle buckle is going to be sitting on top of the hat so it's definitely going to have a shadow in that way and then we'll go from the side of the hat inward like so and see so I didn't want that dark green for a reason I wanted to kind of layer my colors and just help give it a little more depth value and just overall cuteness to my little girl look at her the very last thing we could do is take a little bit of brown in here and give it a little more of a gold vibe instead of a yellow Look at how, oh my gosh, she's so cute, you guys. I love her. I hope you had fun drawing her with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, share the video. And I cannot wait to see you guys again next time.